Yeah. So what is truth then? Truth is God, really. Truth is what, what you feel within you. Like, you want to express something. Like, for example, a relationship, that's true. You want to express something of the now. Uh, we talk to each other, we tell up, because uh, obviously we're both built the same. So we talk to each other and tell our, our secrets, um, what we find difficult. That's uh, what truth is. Jesus said, Jesus said the truth will set you free. Jesus said, Jesus the truth will... I feel like what Jesus' word, what he said, very relates to me. Like, especially when it gets pressed, it's pressed to the core. I don't know about Paul. You know about Paul, the uh, author? Yeah, sorry, the, um, one second. Billah, I can't hear myself, bro. Um, yeah, tell me about, is this free material? If you want to help yourself to anything, it's all free, feel yes, free, yeah? Please. This is the Quran, these are just leaflets. I've just recently got many. Okay, Alex. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But tell me about Paul. My son's <laughs> Tell me about Paul, you were saying. Oh, Paul, his words are so unique. Who is Paul? Alex. He's an author in the New Testament. Major in the New Testament. What do you know about He's a major author in the New Testament. Uh -huh. How many books does he author? The New Testament is made out of 27 books. How many books do you think Paul authors? A lot of them. About 13. I feel like when I can't read a word, I can't so, recognize his writing. Alex, he, he writes half of the Bible, half of the New Testament. You know that? 13 of the books. Galatians, Corinthians, all of these are written, Romans, by Paul. It's a big amount. So who is Paul? Paul is an author. No, no, so he's an author. He wrote this. So why do you feel like you feel like when he speaks or expresses himself, as you say, that you feel like the truth? Exactly, because um, the way he says it very unique to me, like when I read his words, like he might just address, um, he might just address the people that he's met. When they talk about the truth, he his stories. Sorry, come, come closer to me, I can't, I can't hear you. No, no, come closer, I can't hear you. Come closer. Okay, look, Paul, he's the author of like half of the New Testament, so it's important that we know who he is. If you remember his story, I'll tell you what I know. I know, don't know that much about him, but perhaps we can learn from each other. So Paul, he wasn't a disciple. He wasn't a... He never met Jesus in flesh. Yeah, he says himself he was on the road to Damascus. No, he's not one of the twelve disciples. In fact, when the when Judas betrayed Jesus, the companions of Jesus, the disciples said, "Let us gather and let us choose from one from amongst ourselves in Acts who has been there from the beginning to the end." Do you remember which disciple they chose to replace Judas? Judas, Matthias. There was a choice between two of them, and they chose Matthias. But in the, that time, Paul was there. How come they didn't choose? How do you think? Why do you think they didn't choose? The disciples didn't choose Paul. It's a good question, right? Could it be that they didn't? Paul was alive at the time of the disciples in the Council of Jerusalem. He met James. James is the brother of Jesus, one of the three pillars of the Jesus. Yeah. So listen, Paul. Peter and John, they are the three pillars of the church. Now, Paul never met Jesus. He was on the road to Damascus and he was persecuting the uh, Christians. But then he had a change of heart. He said he saw a vision. And then he went over to Damascus and Arabia, but he never went to see the disciples. He said that his gospel is not from any man. Are you aware? He said that the disciples, they did not benefit me. They did not benefit me. Exactly, that's what I'm asking you as a Christian. How did a man who has never met... You know, you know when it goes down to You're thinking about it, isn't it? when it goes down to descendants. And some people are bad. So I guess one descendant, this is good. Oh, the Lord has changed his ways. And I think that's how... Well, let's look at this. Let's look at this. How much, have you got time? Yeah, I know you love Paul, but you have to ask yourself, is your love placed in the right place? Now let's see, because we should love God and the truth. This is ultimately what we should love. So Paul came and he never met Jesus. 
The disciples didn't recognize him as a disciple or apostle. There's no admission that he is an apostle from the disciples. Well, yeah, yeah. So he's on the road to Damascus. The other men with him don't see, or depending on accounts, some of them see, some of them don't see. This is what the two accounts say: conflicts. One account says they see, the other account because you got Galatians and you got Acts. Acts says something like they see, the other one opposes, the other one says they hear, the other one says they didn't hear. So we have a split decision. We don't know which is the truth of the matter, but we know that Paul he had a dispute with Barnabas and he had a uh, dispute with Cephas. This is known as the incident of Antioch. No, this is all prior. This is afterwards. Yeah, the last. So I'll tell you why we got to prison. You know, if you read what Paul says, he says the people of Jerusalem have handed me over to the Romans. Who are the people of Jerusalem, Alex? Where did Jesus preach? And where did he go? I have not been sent except for the lost sheep of Israel. Go ye not into the way of the Gentile. This is what Jesus is. Jesus taught in Jerusalem. His disciples are from Jerusalem. Paul doesn't, uh, the, the disciples in, uh, if you read Acts, James, who is the brother of the, uh, Jesus and he is the leader of the Jerusalem church, he calls uh, Paul over, if you recall what he says. And he says to Paul, we hear Paul that you have been calling people away from the laws of Moses. I'll tell you, but come, let's take step by step. James is the brother of Jesus. He's telling Paul that these people are claiming that you're telling people or turning people away from the laws of Moses. You know why? Because those Jews who believed in Jesus, they weren't called Christians, it's called the Jerusalem church. They believed in Jesus and they followed the law. And they followed the law. Paul, on the other hand, he said the law is a stumbling block to the Greeks, the Romans. He said the law is a stumbling block. Do you remember? So he preached to them a different gospel. If you read, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If they see, they will record. He, he said, he, if you read in Galatians, yeah, Paul says, the first Galatians, he's calling the people not to leave his gospel, even if an angel comes with the gospel. You know why? There's another powerful group working within the communities of Jews and uh, Gentiles. Um, Who is it? It's the Church of Jerusalem. No, it's the Church of Jerusalem. They, Jesus, Abraham was given the circumcision and the everlasting covenant. Do you remember? What does it? Well, what does everlasting mean to you? Huh? It means forever, everlasting. Jesus was he circumcised? Yes. Was Paul circumcised? Yes. But how come now the Christian says this covenant is old? They say it's done. God says it's everlasting. The story goes back to Paul. Paul is preaching to the non-Jews. He's preaching to the Romans. Jesus says, go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. He's, they said, why Jesus in uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, why do you preach to the Jews? Uh, why do you speak parabolically like in parables? He says, read it. I can show you the verses anytime you have, Alex. He says, they say, why do you speak in parables? He says, because the kingdom of heaven has been given to you and not them. He says, salvation is given to the Jews, not to the Romans. This idea that Christianity or even Jews has come for the Gentiles, it's not something that Jesus taught. It's a word of truth. So what does Jesus teach? But what does teach, Jesus teach in regards to worship? Do you know? Do you remember the Lord's Prayer? Do you remember the Lord's Prayer? Do you remember the Lord's Prayer? Amazing. Amazing. Who, when he says our Father, who's he talking about? Okay. Have you ever thought about this prayer? Have you ever thought about this prayer? Okay, now. Okay, who was this prayer given to? Jesus taught them his prayer. Now, what was the prayer? Who was the prayer to? To who? Who? He's God. Yes. Okay. So he is not God, right? 
he has a God. Our, and who wears that God, he says? Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be Jesus' name or hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom. Whose kingdom? The kingdom of God. Be on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus expected the kingdom to be on earth. And who, what was the, the request? Give us our daily bread. Yeah, give us our day and forgive our debts. Who want, who, why, who, why is this appearing in the, uh, have you asked yourself, why is it asking for bread and the forgiveness of uh, the debts? No, but why? No, no, but why? I feel like that's the prayer well. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. The Jews, so, so, so the prayer, the prayer was to the Jews who had to give to the Jews. Listen, listen, I'll tell you. No, no, but listen to this, yeah. Why is it that it's asking for bread and the relief of debt? Is because they were under crippling sanctions from the Roman Empire. They could not afford life. And Jesus was a Messiah that came to bring the Israel up to his former glory. And this is what Israel was expecting. Yeah? And Jesus says in John, Jesus says in John 17, 3, it's eternal life. Words of Jesus, Alex. It's eternal life that you should know the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Who is God? The Father, our Father. At the head of a woman is a man, at the head of man is Christ, at the head of Christ is God. So Jesus cannot be God. Jesus is not God. Do you understand? Right. Thanks, I'm done. I'm go again. But you got time, but, but do you believe Jesus is God after we've just explained that? But how can you when you just say these verses? No, but we just, you don't believe, so you believe in truth, but you don't believe what Jesus said. But this is what I'm saying, the gospel, the truth of the gospel is the words of Jesus. Jesus is telling you there is one true God. Should I show you a verse? Yeah, yeah, maybe you might have more conviction. Uh, it's on, in, online, you can all get it. Yeah? Oh, you got it? Show, show him John 3, 17. It's, look. Yeah, I'll show you. John 3, 3. Yeah? Now, this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true. Two adjectives, only and the true God and Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ the one true God? No. Here he says, and the one true God and Jesus Christ who he has sent. How can they be the same person? Do you understand? This, look. If you look at yourself, it's better, see? Oh yeah, I got one of those. Now this, yeah, is it? Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ who has sent The only true God. It's not Muslims yeah. making up. If Jesus said the Father is the only true God, and it wasn't Jesus, that means you're also the false God. So they are not this is what I'm telling you. Alex, come back to the worship of the one true God. Like Jesus. If you worship Jesus, no. Yeah, look, look, look. Well, to read, your, your faith is taken from the Bible. Jesus is telling you. But Jesus is telling you. He's not telling you. I'm not telling you. Jesus, Alex, Alex, you said you believe in the Bible. Do you believe what the Bible says about Jesus? Jesus is telling you he is not God. He says, yeah, he says the greatest commandment is the first commandment. Hear ye, O Israel, your Lord the God is Trinity? Is one. Hear ye, O Israel, your Lord the God is one. And you should worship him with all your heart. Your God is a jealous God. It doesn't say three. It doesn't say two. It says one. Do you believe God has the best of speech? Of course. If he wanted you to worship him in three persons, he would have told you. God has the best of speech. And in, in the Bible and the Quran, Allah, he says, Allahu la ilaha illahu. There is no God but he. Anyways, uh, I love you.